Sheikh Walid Basiri, insha'Allah. I'll give you a brief introduction of Sheikh Walid Basiyuni. He is a graduate with a bachelor's degree in Islamic sciences from Al Iman Muhammad University in Saudi Arabia. He then completed his master's in Islamic theology, world religions, and modern religious sects. He is currently working on his PhD coursework in theology, or Aqidah. Sheikh Walid is involved in various organizations and projects. He is an instructor at the American Open University in Alexandria, Virginia, United States of America, and serves as the Imam of the Clear Lake Islamic Center in Houston, Texas. He is a frequent guest speaker at universities, conventions, radio talk shows, television, interfaith meetings, and community centers nationally and internationally. He is also a member of the North American Imams Federation, NIF, Assembly of the Muslim Jurists in America, AMJA, and the research from the Fatwa and Research Committees. He is director of Texas Dawa Convention and advisor to numerous Islamic societies and organizations around the United States. Sheikh Walid has ijazas in reciting the Holy Quran and in several books of hadith awarded by various scholars. He has had the opportunity of studying under some of the most notable scholars of our time, namely Sheikh Ben Baz and Sheikh Abdur Razak Al Afifi, Sheikh Ibn Jabrin, Sheikh Al Barak, and many others. He has been involved in Dawah for the last 15 years in Saudi Arabia, the United States, and Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I welcome to the microphone Sheikh Walid Basiyuni to talk on the subject The Journey of the Believers. The Journey of the Believers, Sheikh Walid Basiyuni. If anyone lost this wallet also, we found it, inshallah. Come to the left of the stage to collect it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillahi al-haqq al-mubeen. الحمد لله الذي شرع لعباده أنواع العبادات ويسر لهم سبل القربات وضاعف الحسنات وتجاوز عن السيئات ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praise due to Allah and his praise and blessings and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم his family, his companions, and his followers until the Day of Judgment, and all the prophets and the messengers and their followers. My dear brothers and sisters, the journey of the believers. As I can see that I'm facing the believers, males and, the female, and females, that we all believe in Allah as our Lord, and believe that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. For those who believe in Allah to be the only one worthy of worship, for those who believe that Allah is the creator and the sustainer for the heavens and earth, that's why he should be only worshipped, he should be only worshipped and obeyed to the one who believed that Muhammad the son of Abdullah, the one who was born in Mecca and died in Medina, was the true, it was a true prophet and a messenger of Allah, was sent to all humanity with peace as a mercy to mankind. We have sent you, O Muhammad, as a mercy for mankind. For those who living today a life which has became a very materialistic life, where people are so busy to take few hours of their days for dedicating these few hours to Allah, for, for them to contemplate on themselves and the world around them, so they can come closer to Allah. 
closer to their creators. For those who complain that their heart is solid and they complain that their heart is not soft as it should be. For those who read and hear the stories about the early Muslim generations, how pure they used to be and how soft heart they had. And they see themselves that they are very far away from that. For those that their act of worship turn to be just habits, that they do it daily, but they're not enjoying it. For those they, don't, they did not yet, or they complain that they don't taste the sweetness of the Iman. For those who complain that when they pray, they cannot have khushur, concentrating in their prayer. For those who know that they're getting weaker every day in front of the temptation of this life and the pressure around them from every corner calling them not to stay in the right path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For those who are struggling with themselves, for all of us, regardless our level of iman, of faith, high or low, regardless how much good deeds you do daily, because among us the one who do so much and among us who do not as much as he or she supposed to do. To all of us, in these few minutes, I would like to show you, so you can see with your own eyes, the future of the believers. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah, the Almighty in His book, Al-Quran, have told us about the believers and the future of the believers. He told us that whomever will do a righteous deeds, whether a male or a female, while he or she is a true believer, verily to him, we will give a good life and we shall pay them certainly a reward to the best of what they used to do in this worldly life. He said the Almighty, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَىٰ وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ فَلَنَحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ It's a promise from Allah for the believers, for the good doers, two things. A good life in this worldly life and a great reward in the next one after death because as you know that God and Allah the Almighty Subhanahu did not just created us to live in this earth to eat and drink and then die and that's it there is a day where Allah will resurrect all his creation and gather them in a great gathering to judge between them to show His justice, to show the truth to all humanity, to appear to His creation once again, as He did before He created our bodies to our souls, as He said the Almighty Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, that He have taken covenant from the children of Adam, when He created the souls of all humanity, that Allah is the only one worthy of worship and everyone admitted. Then he warned them. He said, when a day will come and I will gather you again, but in that gathering will be different. It will be the body and the souls together, which is in the day of resurrection.